back for another video. Uh, in this one, um, I'm doing a retake of a video I made a couple of months ago. Um, and that video I've uh, shown, let me open up a page and click on the edit button. That video was about the, if I open up a row layout, for example, you see this is still the um, old version of the cadence blocks by now they have been updated to the version 3 so the layout here is looking completely different by now and I've shown in that uh, previous video where you can go here to the blocks controls and when you had the block defaults here and you could set the defaults for every block individually from within this um, from within this tab um, let me go back now and update my cadence to the newest version so cadence blocks we're going to update now And then we'll go back to the same page and you will see that now the layout will be uh, different. So let me open up a row layout again. So this is the new layout, it's divided into three. And you also see if I go here, that the block defaults is not under this tab anymore. You have the visibility settings you can set here. This is something new. You have the import or export block settings so we can um, if we have some defaults set up, we can export them from here and then import them in the next project, for example. We can reset all default settings from here as well. But you see, we can't set the defaults themselves here. So this is the thing that changed uh, um, in comparison with my previous video. So now we have to be inside of the settings of the block itself. So if I want to set the default settings for my row layout, for example, I have to select one, I have to make a row layout block and then go inside of the settings. And then here there will be a, with the advanced tab, we will have block defaults here and then save as default. Once I have set every param parameter, for example, I want that by, by default to have two columns and I want it to have a column gutter of a medium or if I want pixel values I can still do this like that. Um, I want it to be inherit everything from the team settings max width wise. I want uh, the style some background color whatever and then I can say with advanced save this as a default block and then every time I will add a new row layout it will look exactly the same. So you see, it remembers the default settings I've set up once. That means that if you've already have 20 row layouts uh, inside of your uh, template, <clears throat> and then you've add number uh, 21, for example, uh, but you haven't set the default one yet, all the other ones won't convert. So if I say, oh no, I want my default one to have three, and I want my background color to be lighter and I save this now as a default. You see the previous ones stay the same. So it does not work in retrospect. So if you already have blocks inside of your page, it will not take over the settings. So it's important to do it at the beginning. The first time you insert a row layout, the first time you import uh, a heading, uh, for example, advanced text block, for example, if I search advanced text it's just the same thing if I want some uh, styling options and I want a certain color and whatever then I can go do advanced and I can still I can do the same thing block defaults save as default and the next time I insert now a advanced text block it will take the settings that I've just uh, saved here if I have not done this it will if I have already 50 headings inside of my website and with the 51st one, I save it as a default, then it will not work in retro retrospect again. So that's the only thing. So if you start your website now, it's important that you add it every time you have a heading or a block that will be coming back a lot and has to be uh, more or less have the same styling and then do it the first time around. So uh, every time you insert a new block after that, it will um, import to the settings. Okay, so if you have updated to the newest version, you can follow these steps to set your defaults. If you haven't updated yet, you can still do it in on this by clicking on this icon and then it will be inside of this. Uh, here there will be an option to set the defaults. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.